Jawa Barat. Hi, I'm Jim Watt. Welcome to another edition of Hooked on Fly Tying. And I'm Kelly Watt. Dick Talor has probably taught us all at one time or another how to tie better flies from his prolific and informative articles and books. Now we're privileged to present his artful instruction and knowledge in this series of unique and historic videos. The first fly, Dick's Conglomerate. Now I'd like to introduce you to the sometimes frustrating but always wonderful, intriguing world of tying Atlantic salmon flies. This fly is called Dick's Conglomerate, for lack of a better name. Okay, here we're going to tie on back in this area of the hook. Now, the slope is not quite yet begun in this sprout bend. It's uh, back here behind the tie-in point. So I tie on with four or five wraps of thread and let it hang. Now I'm going to show you what is called the uh, double butt or tip tag assembly of this particular fly. And it would be the same for the very popular Undertaker, which is a fly that's proven itself around the salmon fishing world. Here I have a piece of uh, tinsel. This is synthetic tinsel. It has a silver and a gold side. I want the silver side out. And I'm going to tie this in right back here. Now I might say that there are classic tip tag assemblies from uh, the stained glass window school of fly tying, the great British school that are done differently. And uh, later on in the tape, I'm going to show you how that's done too. But from a practical standpoint, I think you're going to agree that uh, this methodology um, has a lot more to recommend it from a functional standpoint. 